Hello friends, I welcome you to a new day. Jesus is Lord and his Lordship is forever. Can we just go ahead and appreciate him is entirely a new day? The Bible says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Appreciate him. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Life is a gift and every gift requires an appreciation. Somebody help me appreciate him. Help me give him the glory. Jehovah, we have come to say thank you. Zenekelena Indra Kaladabu Shanda, mighty healer, we say thank you. You that set the earth upon the waters, we worship you. You that when you speak, there is multitude of waters in the heavens, we celebrate you. You are the last bus stop of our destiny. We say thank you for a new day. Thank you for a new year. Thank you for all you've been doing for us. Thank you, the governor of all nations. We bless you with everything that is within us. And we want to say, Thou whose mercies endureth forever, be thou exalted. Be glorified, be magnified, and be made big in a new day. Thank you, our God. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you. And we want to tell you we love you. Hallowed be your name. And be that magnified, everlasting Jehovah. In Jesus Christ's matchless name, we worship. Amen. Now, let's do this song together as we continue in God's presence this morning. Mm. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. The rock holds me. The rock holds me. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. I'm standing on the rock of God. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. The rock holds me. The rock holds me. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. I'm standing on the rock, Jesus. I hold. Not the rock, but the rock holds me. The rock holds me. The rock holds me. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. I'm standing on the rock of God. I'm standing, Kalidi Bush, Abadaba, on the rock, Kalidi Bush, Abadaba, Bada, Jesus. Hurry, Spirit Praise Daily Devotional, SPDD, Volume 2 for 2024 is out now. Spirit Praise Daily Devotional helps you strengthen your spiritual cables and wires. Hurry now to grab a copy ASAP. Call or text 080-327-64958 or 070-164-08220. This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional and Spirit Praise Daily Devotional comes their way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network it comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for god all this is a kalash and our topic for today says our eyes are on you malia kagada bagadosh ezunanash akalia kagada bagadosh and Oko shabada bada aha ezenene oh my god what an awesome god we serve briefly this morning we take our bible reading from second chronicles 20 verse 12 and the bible says oh our god we dare not judge them for we have no mind against this great company that cometh against us neither know we what to do but our eyes are upon thee I want to start by saying that in your day-to-day -day activities this year, God will want you to keep your eyes on Him for direction and counsel. Now hear this. 
This is not the year you will keep your eyes on so many things, on so many places or persons. No. This is the year you must keep your eyes on God, wholly on God. Friend, listen to me. Your eyes must be on God, even when you know what to do and when you do not know what to do. Kaliya kagadaba legedede lagadusha at all times. Now, from Second Chronicles chapter twenty, when you read through, you will discover that about three nations declared war against Jehoshaphat, king of Judah. The Bible recorded that Jehoshaphat was afraid, but I love what he did. Now look at verse 3. He saw the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Now if I may ask, where do you run to in times of trouble? Pause before you respond. For Jehoshaphat, he ran to God. And the Lord sent me this morning to say to you, to come to him at all times in times of trouble to come to him in times of i do not know what to do to come to him in times of i have no clue of what to do to come to him in times of confusion in times when you are devastated keep your eyes on him listen to me friend this is the year you must trust god for direction this is the year you must depend on god wholly and that's why it says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. And there is this song that is derived from these verses we have just read, and I would like to sing it. And if you know it, please join me. Mm, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean on not thy own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path and he shall direct thy path he that keepeth thee do not slumber Chai. The Lord is my all them that call upon him, who call upon him with all their heart. Trust in the Lord with all their heart, and lean on not your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. Hear me, friend, before we pray. Never put your trust in human understanding in this new season. Because human understanding is limited. And most often it ends on guesswork. I came to encourage you to see God's hand in everything you do this year. Come on, oh God, I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do. I encourage you to look unto God for what to do. Keep your eyes on him. When you do, victory is assured. Now hear this announcement before we pray. Never fail to let God know that you are helpless in this very year. Always learn to confess your helplessness to him. Let him know that you don't know what to do. In time of crisis, in time of challenges and trouble, contact him. I say dial his line. I'm sure he will surely respond. And he will surely give you victory. The same way he gave to King Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. Now look at Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 15b. The Bible says, and I would like you to put your name there. Don't say it the Lord. Unto joy, Kaliya Kagadaba Legede de Lagadosha. Be not afraid, nor be dismayed, Likalagadaba Legede de Lagadosha. By reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Permit me to amplify the battle is not yours, but God's. Kaliya Kagadaba Legede de Lagadosha. Let us pray. Now I would like you to take a praying posture this morning as we engage the heavens in the tongues of the angels. Let heaven know your eyes are on him. Charge up your spirit man. He said, 
Be not afraid, nor be dismayed. Say the Lord of hosts. Pray in the Holy Ghost. He said, Don't worry about the multitude. God is on your side. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Now listen, he says, the battle is not yours, but the battle is his. Go in the Holy Ghost. Friend, listen, your eyes must be on God this very year. Don't look around. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Go in the Holy Ghost. Pray. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. No negotiation. Somebody pray. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. And we want to declare once again, our eyes are on you. Thank you, our Father, for taking over the battles. While our eyes remain on you. Thank you for the victory you have given us in this very new year. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We give you thanks. For we pray and we worship with thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast. to everyone who has listened to this broadcast. That from today you will keep your eyes on God. I say from today you will keep your eyes on Jehovah. And that my God will fight all your battles this year. And he will give you landslide victory in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In partnership with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit.